Lagos State government urges Lagosians to show understanding over the reopening of uh, Leki Toll Plaza. And nothing can stop the North from fielding a credible presidential candidate as coming from the coalition of Northern groups. This is Plus Politics and I'm Kofi Bartels. The Lagos State Government has urged the people of the state, especially residents of Leki and Ikoyi, to show understanding over the proposed reopening of the Leki Ikoyi Link Bridge Toll Plaza by the Leki Concession Company Limited. They assured the residents of Lagos that the government would look into all the requests and recommendations made by the stakeholders and would respond. Adequately, this is uh, coming on the heels of uh, a we said a stakeholders meeting held yesterday uh, between the Lagos State Government, the Lecky Concession Company Limited, the operators of the toll gate, and of course the stakeholders in Lecky and Ikui parts of Lagos State. Of course, we had journalists also the press at that uh, meeting as well. Now, joining us to look at the unfolding events and what transpired there. And the point basically uh, all sides are making are two lawyers, Ayo Ademilui and of course Adeshino Ogunlano. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Ayo is with us in the studio and Adeshino joins us via Zoom. Ayo, good evening to you. Uh, good evening. It's a pleasure to be here. Right. And Adeshino Ogunlano, good evening to you. Good evening. Hi. Are you? Fine, thank you. Um, um, so, uh, Ayo, you were at the meeting, the, the stakeholders meeting yesterday. Very well. Very well. All right. Uh, um, um, Adeshino, were you there as well? Yes. Okay. What? What's your question? Were you at the stakeholders meeting yesterday? I was not. Okay. All right. So, um, Ayo Gulana, Ayo Ademu Niluye, let's let's take a, an account. Give us, tell us what what you what transpired. When uh, you well, I I to be truthful, I got there a bit late. I got the notice quite late. Uh, it was four. It was for four p.m. at the Lekki Coliseum. Uh, it was four o'clock. I got the so getting down there. Uh, it was almost done. And of course, a lot of discussions were still going on. Uh, one was able to have the opportunity of um, engaging one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Bengamoto Shaw. That's the, <clears throat> the Commissioner for Information of Lagos State Government. And he was pushing the argument that uh, one of the reasons why the Lagos State Government, you recall that Lagos State Government has about 75% shareholding now after the uh, uh, debt uh, buyback. Uh, of the Lekki Commission Company. Now, so, but since 2014, that's one of the major reasons they are proposing the reopening of the Ikoi Lekki Lake Bridge. And subsequently, the Admiral Ito Plaza is that they are weighing 24 billion naira. So we now put a further question to it that are you saying that since 2011, uh, till now, that's when the 24, 24 billion naira debt uh, accumulated? And his answer was yes. So if that answer is yes, the question for that question is not that. <clears throat> if we were to say between now and 2011, that's a total of 11 years, 11 divided by 24. So you have around 1.2 billion naira being spent uh, every year over the same lecture express expressway that people like me and you uh, apply almost on a regular basis. Then the further question is that uh, what major significant um, improvements have been made, let's say, for instance, in year 2021 on that route, in terms of covert, in terms of drainages, in terms of any fundamental improvements? The answer is, uh, the answer is, no. in fact, we are facing the road. I say, is it the same road that 1.2 billion was spent last year? Let's even assume without considering that, that 1.2 billion has not been spent in this year. So, there are so many unanswered questions. What is clear is that um, this is a clear case of expropriation by the Lagos state government and the legal Connection Company. We are already a mirage in this country. We are to draw blood. Our inflation has risen to almost 58%, arguably. And apart from that, is that we have a devaluation of Naira that has reduced um, Nigeria to the highest, uh, uh, the poorest country in the world, according to the World Poverty Clock. 
Mm -hmm. uh, furthermore, according to the World Bank, because they have been punching out a lot of statistics that the World Bank um, is, is the financial guarantor or a shadow of the Korea Lekin Link Bridge. Okay. The same World Bank uh, has come out with a report that uh, about 1% of Nigeria's population control about 80% of the vast resources. So Nigeria is a, is a disaster zone, if you ask me. And they're putting three toll gates on the 16-kilometer road. It's more or less drawing blood from, from a patient that has an uh, MRI. So that's, that's the basic thing uh, that transpired yesterday. Interesting. Uh, taking forward. Mm. Interesting. There is clear opposition, even from the residents, mm. from everybody, civil society, from the victims of Lekki Massacre, they were there two years today. There was a clear no uh, uh, from the... From For the Lekki Ikoyi yeah, yeah, yeah. Link Bridge, Link Bridge. Toll Gate. Yeah, exactly. Not the Lekki Toll Gate on the Lekki You, you know that their strategy now is that tomorrow is April 1st. Uh, the strategy is that there won't be tolling tolling at the Toll Plaza at the Koyin League Bridge. Everybody knows that what happened at the 20th of October happened at the Admiralty Toll Plaza, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. popular Lekki Toll Gate. Yeah. So, they decided to shift the focus and locus to the uh, the Koyin Lekki Link Bridge and then say, for the next 14 days, that is from now to April 14, there won't be any turning. Then by April 15, they will start the turning. Mm -hmm. So, we should not be fooled uh, on April Fool's Day. It's always World Fool's Day. Okay. We should All not right. be fooled in any All way. Right. Uh, Interesting. L yeah. Let's bring in uh, Mr. Uh, Adesha Nogulano at this point. Uh, you, you've, you've heard from your colleague and friend Ayo Ade uh, Milui uh, regarding what transpired at that stakeholders meeting between the Lagos State Government, the Lekki Concession Company Limited, and stakeholders um, in the whole entire episode. What are your thoughts on, on that? The fact that they're trying to you know, bring people together and say we need to resume tolling uh, on the Lekki Ikoi Link Bridge toll gate. Okay, well, one thing is this. If government seeks understanding of the people, that particular uh, seeking cannot be forfeit. I mean, ordinarily, you should always be consulting with your people and be, I mean, wanting to get the feedback from them but it's only work where you are sincere. I mean, when you are sincere, you cannot hold a monopoly of wisdom. You cannot say, oh, I am the fountain of knowledge, and uh, I'm only consulting just to hear your noise. So, Lagos State government that has come and start meeting with people, I think it's too late in the day. You want to open a controversial link bridge, one of the three points of exploitation. This is how the majority of the people see it. And uh, you just started uh, two or three weeks to the time. In fact, a day two, you now say, I'm giving a period of grace. You have taken decision. So you now want to I mean, panel beat the people uh, onto that particular decision. It is very, very wrong. If it were in December or early in January, oh, we want to do this in April, what do you think of it? One will now say, oh, this is salutary. We are yet to open, but this is what we are decided to do. What do you think and all that? They want to, rather, they just want to do what they, what they are trying to do is cosmetic. They want to just patch over things and to give the impression of being democratic. But it is a ruse, and people have seen through it. At any rate, whether the consultation is coming late or coming early, the people have spoken. The majority of the people will not accept the tolling of our gate. Why? What's so special about that particular toll gate? Why? In all of Lagos State, why is that place to be told? Or uh, you are now saying, oh, it's a fantastic um, paradise, and it's only the, you are privileged to build there. That cannot be right. At any rate, the economic reasons advanced by government uh, did, did not say, does not say. All the claims, all the claims of a uh, budget uh, by them, our uh, budget for that road is exaggerated. It's highly, highly exaggerated. 
is Nigeria. They are part of the thing. Nobody understands the books. And you want to talk bill or something like uh, Mr. Demili has debunked there. So somebody is telling me that on average you spend 1.2 billion or 1.9 billion every year on that short road. Is this the road to heaven? It is not. Hmm. It will not sail. It will not go through. And it can't go through. And I want to add that they won't have the temerity or the audacity to consider reopening of that toll gate when they have done nothing about the implementation of the white paper and the report of the panel shows how disdainful are people who govern us as a people, how they regard the people and their sensitivities, their sensibilities. They just want to write off. Why are those so desperate? Since they've not opened it for the past one year or so, Lagos State, as it collapsed, the answer is no. And people will do well to resist it. And our own new Nigerian network will be at the vanguard of championing resistance to an oppressive act or move of government. Okay. All right. Um, um, uh, gentlemen, um, I mean, I've listened to you and I understand that you've talked about, you know, the fact that um, this is an oppressive act of government you know, that uh, the economic reasons advanced by the Lagos State Government for reopening the Lekki Ikoi Link Bridge toll gate uh, or toll plaza do not hold water in this case. But um, are, are we not allowing emotions rather than, than common sense prevail in all of this? Um, you know, I'd like you to tell me, um, uh, Barista Ogun, Ogunlano, why? Why? the Lekki Ikoi Link Bridge toll plaza should not be reopened or why tolling should not resume there. I want you to just give me in concrete terms why you are against this. Okay, one, the question is this. You don't need to be a lawyer to understand constitutionalism. Under the constitution, uh, people are not going to be, should not be discriminated against by policies of government but for whatever reason, whatever it applies must apply equally to everybody. So if I'm living in, on the mainland, if I'm living in uh, Badagri, if I'm living, any, uh, if I'm living in Nikorodu, my roads are not told, they are not taxed especially. Why must Lekito Gate be taxed especially? Why must it be taxed specially? So why should it put me at a disadvantage? Like I definitely you mentioned, people use that place regularly. Some people two or three times a day. So, but I, I live on the mainland. I go to Ekorodu. Ekorodu has good roads. The road to Ekorodu is good. It is not told. Uh, here, this Ekorodu road, safe, where my office is, Palm Grove, is not told. The airport, when I'm going to the airport, which is a federal uh, road, it's only a portion of it that is tall. Well, well, uh, 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 Mr. Gunlano, Gunla, no. these, these roads that you're talking about, because I thought you were going to say that um, in, in respect to the souls who were lost, and of course, I think you've already mentioned, uh, you talked about the white paper, either you or your counterpart who is sitting here in the studio talked about the, the white paper. Uh, the panel report, you know, uh, um, set up a uh, report by the panel set up to investigate uh, police brutality and, of course, uh, the Lekki massacre as well, which they brought into their own terms of reference. Um, um, uh, so, if you're talking about the fact that some roads in Lagos are not uh, tolled, why should you have to pay a toll on the Lekki Equilibrium Bridge? Have you sat down or written to the government of Lagos State to find out? What model, what money was used to build these roads? What the difference is in the... Uh, the, what, what, the yes. what? No, 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 no. Because we, he, no, I, mean, I mean, you don't, you, you don't need me to tell you, sir, that Lekki Concession Company is not a government uh, department. I disagree. Um, I was you, at you, the you know, you know how no, concessioning no, 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 works. You know how Let me public you. private partnership works. And if no. you, barrister, were to put your money in an investment say government i want to build a road and i'll recoup my money over the next few years and then one day you're told you cannot get your money back how will you feel let me answer you you are you are you are telling back to me the lie peddled by government i was at that panel they admitted before the panel that is now owned by lagos state 
the issue of a concessionary company that was 10, 15, 11 years ago is now the property of Lagos State. This in is the Lake Ikoi Link Bridge. The same thing, the company is purporting to control the Link Bridge, the Admiralty Park Plaza, and the one near uh, Chef Chevron. Every one of these things, there's only one company. It is Lagos State. Lagos State is not supposed to be trading on its own people. Lagos State is not supposed to be trading on its own people. And I'm supposed to speak for the people. The people of Leki, of Epe, of Aja, Badi, Abadore, they should not suffer than people that live in other parts of Lagos State. Lagos State cannot come and tell me a story. And I believe it. they have admitted that it's not a Lagos State company. Because I, I put the question to them. Who are the directors? Who are the controls? They know it's a Lagos State, um, it's a Lagos State property. The mere fact that you have not created a parastata does not take the ownership away from Lagos State. No, but, but, we, so, but we, 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 we have, we, you could, government could have um, um, commercial. Um, let me come to you, uh, uh, but Mr. Ademi Louis. Go, go, there's, a, there's a Lagos State government company. I've, uh, is it, I, I've forgotten the name of that. But the one that... DC. No, 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 no. The one that owns uh, the the one of the companies that runs BRT. Uh, okay, the LSBSN. Something holding. In fact, something holding let, let, uh, very yeah, briefly, I mentioned yeah. the LSBSN. Mm. Now, fortunate enough, we are um, also the council handling the matter of Bamishi Ayonwola. Okay, now, so, you, so you know the company that owns. Oh, oh. All right. Now, right. The, the one of the major arguments that have been canvassed too in one of our major uh, agitation, actually on the question of the criminal liability of. LBSL is that it's, a, it's just a private yeah, company. company. But, we know but that there's a difference yeah, between LBSL and Lake Concession Company. In 2011, the Lake Concession Company was incorporated. And the Commissioner for Information admitted that yesterday to uh, the stakeholders' uh, meeting. Now, in 2014, there was the concession agreement expired. Now, there was a buyback. Now, in corporate law, what would mean buyback? Buyback is that if you have made an investment in a corporate infrastructure and there is a loss of, of investment, you are buying back both the liquidity and assets of that company. So, Do you understand? The so between 2014 yeah. and now, which is a total of seven, eight, seven to eight years roughly, is that we have had a buyback by Lagos State Government. So the entity is now 75%. If you check the statement of Lagos State Government, they are clear. 75% holding by Lagos State Government. In fact, as Mr. Gunnar said... 75% yes, holding. In their, in who, their, who owns the remaining 25? In fact, they did not tell us. Okay, Under but government owns 75%. Mr. Omomo Wasu, yeah. the managing director of Lekki Collection Company, admitted that. And he said, 25%, he said, who owns it? Give us, leave the way. He could not and all that. But to put the issue to rest is the fact that what we are having our hands is Lagos State government expropriating its own citizens. Now, where do our taxes go? According to the statistics of Lagos State government, Lagos State government generates the highest IGR in Nigeria, more than 11 states of the Federation, around 3.1 trillion. Now, apart from that is that Lagos State government's IGR and in entirety its GDP is more than five West African countries, laboring countries. So where is the money? Where is the money going to? The GDP fact, does not translate to yes, it does not translate to evidential economy. transformation in the social economic lives of all of us. Now, Lagos State government, in terms of education, or what we call the world uh, best cities in this index, rates far lower than Damascus, the world third city of Syria. In fact, it will be rated now far lower than uh, but I mean, I mean, I, I'm so, I'm the capital come, of Ukraine, I'm which is under the government of Putin you, you're going and all that. But, so, but I, 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 I will come back to the, so that you get the, the LCC mm. is the LCC a department, ministry department agency of the Lagos State Government? Or is it a private company with government holding well, shares? Let me clarify for you. Le government can own holdings. Of course. In the, of course. You, uh, you, you talked about the yes, fact that you are handling Bamish's case. In a, yes, in a, in, I'm just clarifying. Mm. In, a, in, a, in, a limi, in a in a limited liability complaint. And we have seen that on, in numerous cases. In fact, don't forget that Lagos State Government has what they call the Ibile Holdings. Ibile Holdings. Ibile Holdings, PSC, listed yeah. on the stock exchange. 
which is which is the holding the parent company of LBS. Don't forget that even government acquire bonds yeah. and derivatives on the secondary market or the stock exchange. So we are we are scholars of corporate law. Those are fundamentals. Now coming to what is happening here now is the fact that you have a, a government after collecting the highest taxes in the land in the country. Now subjects the citizens again to multiple taxation. So, because is, is this an issue of of the the Lekki massacre, or is it an issue? Now connecting of, it to of, the Lekki massacre of, of, now because because they're two different no, no, things. No, no, no. If you're talking about you know the 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 fact that Lagos State government collects taxes and raises the highest IGR in Nigeria, well. that is one issue. But if you're talking about the symbolic nature, symbolism of reopening that in relation to the Lekki massacre, then that's another issue. So, now, so which is it? Okay, thank you so much. Or are you just question. trying to get everything no, to, be, to back to, to government? No, we need to have a clarification. Now, if you look at the incident of the uh, 20th of October, 2020, what we regard to as the Lekki massacre, and now judicially acknowledged, by the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry that into the certain abuses, the panel that sat, that panel drew up a judicial report that also acknowledged that event as a massacre. To be truthful, the fact is that that, that massacre occurred at the Admiralty To Plaza. Now, the Admiralty To Plaza, the Koyi Lekki Link Bridge, and even the Conservation To Plaza, which is the third one, that is the one at uh, Chevron, at Eligaza. Are managed by Lekki Conservation Company. In fact, the fact is that Lekki Conservation Company also does many other things apart from turning. And according to them, they believe they do some knowledge and all those things. Whether that's the object of their incorporation, it's not for us. Now, the point we are making is that by virtue of the uh, panel report, the panel report recommended that those two, that by particular the Admiralty Top Plaza, should be set up as a cenotaph. Now, the Koyi Link Bridge, too, if you look at that Koyi Link Bridge, is equally part of that recommendation that Tony should stop in that place. I mean, it should, it should, in memory of those people, cenotaph should be put up. Uh, the, 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 now, the, the, the there's an argument that can be put up. Uh, and of course, we, um, that, yes. that, that, that they look at the Koyi Link Bridge toll plaza should be shut down. No, I'm saying that he's recommended as a cenotaph. That uh, I, I know. I'm just asking. Did, did they tough? recommend it should be shut down? Not at all. Okay, just now, to sure. just to be clear. Now, the fact is, what we are making, the case we are making, is that that particular turning itself is anti, uh, is anti-human, and then the, the tolling. Yes. Okay. Now, connecting to the Lekki massacre, because there's a point there. Yeah. The Koyi Lekki Lim Bridge, in itself, is uh if you look at it, is a product of a World Bank and IMF uh, facility. A facility. Yeah. And it was meant to ease the traffic on the Admiralty Tour Plaza. Now, but the contrary situation you have is that for those who are coming from Ikoi and all that, and moving down, uh, they're trying to link Ikoi from Lekki, they are now having the conjecture. What we are basically saying is that it's against the principles of national justice, equity, and good conscience. For this government, less than two years after the, the, the Black Massacre, to reopen the same two plazas where we all knew this uh, gallant matter. No, but, but you, ju you, ju you just said that, you know, this is unfortunate tragedy. The Lekki massacre, as it's been already uh, pronounced by the judicial panel no, inquiry, there, there are, uh, there you, are you, people you, who are responsible. You, and they, you, the you panel said, recommended their. You, you said that it didn't take place at the Lekki. The Lekki uh, yeah, 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 Link Bridge. Yes. So, so these are two different locations. But you know, the the fact is that we are not going to be a fool on on April Fool's Day. Their target is not just the Koyi Lekki Link Bridge. They knew that there will be a lot of anger if they say they are opening. The popular Lekki Tour Gate. They are, that's, the, that's the biggest one. The Admiralty Tour uh, Plaza. So, decided to shift emphasis, uh, uh, focus. Uh, uh, what, what, what's the source Hold of on. your information? No, I'm, I'm just reading from the body, from no, the but, but I mean, you, they can, they can, uh, we can no, call, call Bengal Motor Show and he could it's, sit here yes, and deny. It's my, it's my opinion. That's what yeah, you, I said that feel. we are going to okay. do a public debate. We, okay. are, we, are going, we, are, we are ready for that debate. A public debate about that. Now, the fact is that the strategy of the Lagos State Government is to say, ah, okay, we are opening the uh, Koyi Lekki Lane Bridge first. We are not even going to take tours. On the 15th of um, April, we are going to start that. But eventually, 
Nobody is a fool. The Koyi, I mean, the Admiralty Top Plaza will also eventually be opened. We all know that Nigeria is a disaster zone. There will be another disaster in the next two days or three days. All attention will be shifted to that disaster. And then, of course, they know that the easily successful Nigerians will want to pay. But we are, as I've said, and fortunately enough, I'm also the secretary of the New Nigerian Network. We are, want to assure the Lagos State government that we will be at the forefront of mobilizing against... Okay. Against uh, I, I want to bring back uh, uh, Adesina Ogulano mm -hmm. at this point. Uh, Adesina Ogulano, um, we've been reminded by Bengal Motorshow, the um, uh, Commissioner for Information and Strategy in Lagos State, that um, LCC, I mean, he's talking about corporate you know, practice and uh, uh, structures that, you know, you guys as lawyers are scholars in this. And I'm sure you're aware that you cannot just take a, a project that has been, you know, structured uh, on paper, you know, and then the finances and, and, and uh, uh, the, the, the project, you know, map and everything has been drawn down uh, in terms of how the financing is going to go that involves the World Bank and involves IMF and, and a lot of other paperwork and just say, you know what, we're throwing it out the window. You have to stick to that agreement. It's part of, you know, if you want to look at good corporate practice, uh, you want to look at um, your credit ratings, for instance, in these companies like Saatchi and Saatchi, and, you know, all these things matter. So will it be right and fair to expect, having gone to an agreement where the Lagos State government took a pen and a paper and signed and said, this is how we're going to go about it, to say, oh, government should just take taxpayers' money to pay, would that be the right way to go about it? Well, the question I will, I will ask, which one is better? Reality. Reality or your so-called commitment. This bridge was locked down, has been locked down for more than one year. Was that part of the agreement? Hello, sir. Are I'm listening hearing? to you. Yes. Was it part of the agreement? Why, 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 was it, why was it locked down? I know we asked the Lagos State government who forced them, who forced them to lock it down, who forced them to say there won't be totally over there. Are you are you the aware? Are you aware that, that the, the LCC owes owes local lenders about eleven point six billion dollars and owes foreign lenders about thirty one million US dollars, thirty one point one million that, US dollars to be precise. I don't be gentleman, uh, my friend. I don't believe the story of Lagos State government. Like I don't No, but, but saying you don't believe it doesn't make it not true. Your, your lack of no, your, your own belief that, it just, needs to be backed oh, up by facts. Like so do you have like facts to, to show that, that they are lying? Explain. What will you like me to explain? You if you ask me a question, you can't corral me on a particular way of thinking. I am not Let I'm not trying to. No, no, no. Far from it. Mr. Me Bruno, go on. Nonsense. Go on. Uh, the question, the point is this. The gentleman was asked. Who are these other twenty-five percent? He could not answer. Lagos State Government of Motosha ask him tomorrow. He cannot disclose. We are saying there is boju boju there, and we are saying that if this agreement is so sacrosanct, why was no tolling for the past one year? Is law made for man? Are contracts made for man, or man made for contract? We are very much aggrieved. In Lagos State, and anybody who is realistic will know that even underneath it, even though the um, answers uh, protests that took place in that axis was not about tolling, but everybody knows that even before that answers protest, they have been repeated both legal, both physical uh, demonstrations and challenges to this tolling. It's a very uh, sore point to Lagosians. And we are saying that assuming but not conceding that even this bridge, something affects it by way of even natural disaster. What will Lagos State be saying? That I must pay, I must pay. We are saying that there's nothing sacrosanct over, over the welfare interest of our people. And we are saying it's not fair. And I was trying to explain to you that, okay, uh, why should people in Lekki now, I don't know where, where, where they used to talk, you pay, if you go the up and down, up and down, you pay almost about a thousand plus a day, 400, 400, uh, something, 300, 200 every day. And which improvement has happened? When, where if, is there a forensic, is there a forensic analysis of this paper? When we now ask by way of information, 
uh, from Lagos State Government, are they ready to submit to the scrutiny of the people? They will not be. And part of democracy is glass not and press through a transparency and accountability. And that's why people are, are reacting to this sharply. Uh, there is no need to incite anybody. The truth of the matter is that Lagos State Government has special interest in satisfying themselves and their cohorts in the Western imperialist country than the people of Lagos State. And we cannot accept that. When, when you accept oppression, you begin to justify it. Or Marshall, or Marshall should present his books for right. independent right. policy scrutiny. All right. How uh, additional this bullet, we have to go, I but I, just a quick one to Ayo and David Louis. How should they study $1.1 yes. $1. $1 million? Uh, exactly. Thank, you so, yes. Thank yes. you so much for that question. Thank you so much. Very, very, very quickly, very out of quick time. One. Now, the, the foreign lending, which Lagos government have always said the gods for actually the Korean Lakin Lim Bridge. Well, the view that um, what is there to be done mm, is to appeal for debt forgiveness and cancellation by the World Bank. Just and like I'm, that. Well, hold on. Uh, for instance, it, it's not new. Just some, um, some few weeks ago, Chile, Chile is a Latin American country equally had a lot of where the World Bank the body. The purpose of those Britain Woods institutions, World Bank and IMF, is to continue to expropriate. There is an investment. Okay, we have to go. Uh, we it's have an to go. So, it's to so you are saying they should go to the World Bank and say, please... You no, know, we are demanding please, that cancellation let, let of that go. debt. It's, right. it's, a, it's, a, it's an unseen debt. All right, it's uh, okay. Uh, well, legal practitioners, Ayo Ademolu and uh, um, Adeni Ogulano have been with us. Adeni Ogulano have been with us uh, this night on the Plus TV and Plus Politics. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, after this, we'll take a short break and when we return, we look at the Northern Group sending a warning to governors in the People's Democratic Party it has something to do with zoning ahead of the 2023 presidential elections. Please stay with us.